Hi, this is part two of a five-part hypnosis series. These are little stories interconnected, and you could listen to one file at a time, or all five in succession. These files involve triggers, and if that's something you really don't want to hear, you could stop listening now. Now I just want you to get a little comfy and relax. Make sure that you won't be disturbed for the duration of the file, and just try to get as comfortable as possible. I just want you to lay back and get all nice and relaxed for me. All comfy and calm and peaceful. Letting your mind sink and drift. And I want you to imagine yourself inside that white emptiness with the pentagon in front of you with the five keyholes. And in your hand is a small key made of candy. And you know what to do with that key. You know to place it back into the keyhole and turn. And as you do, purple mist envelops you when that sweet and relaxing and most of all extremely sleepy it makes you feel so deeply relaxed and drifty so calm and peaceful as it envelops you and as it fills you up it fades away and you find yourself inside a cave which is not any normal cave but one made out of candy crystals and licorice and so many other delightful sweet things. You're just standing on a little platform staring out into this cave. You take a step down and you find that the path is made out of crackers and sugar cookies. And you just walk. You just feel like you need to just walk around the reserved area because you feel so sleepy, so completely relaxed, so drifty. You feel yourself just guiding yourself with no thought in your head, just walking and drifting and following your feet, letting your feet guide you and letting your mind slow and drift and dream. Large sugar crystals line the cave. There's little bits of light coming from places where you don't know where they are. Making little crystals sparkle. Little tiny gummy things crawl across the ground and you just keep following keep walking further and further and further until you hit a nice little field of coconuts and shredded wheat and cotton candy. It's a wonderful little garden. You walk around it deep inside this cave in a little river of chocolate. You take a quick sip and it fills you with the most wonderful contentness. It's so nice just to take a nice drink. Languid calmness. You're so sleepy. You're so peaceful and drowsy. It makes you so calm. This cave of the sweetness just dripping away your mind. The honeyness. The wonderful syrup. Just melting away your mind. Letting your brain just float. As you just walk calmly through this candy maze. Letting all the little candy things brush against your legs. The little tiny scraps of coconut and candy floss just brush against you as you keep walking. You find yourself in a forest of candy trees with candied fruits growing from them. Little bioluminescent chocolate mushrooms all sprouting around you, glowing inside this little cave, this cavern of candy and fruits. You walk almost dancing around. It's so sleepy and calmness. It reminds you of a child of the peaceful and happiness. You're so sluggish and heavy eyed as you walk further through this candy wonderland. The little animals crawl throughout the grass as you watch the little candy dragonflies made out of crystal and sugar just float around you as you keep walking. You know you have to keep walking because the further you walk, the more relaxed you get. And the more relaxed you get, the further you walk each step, just making your mind more drifty, more calm. As you walk, you just get more and more drifty. And it gives you more of incentive to keep going and observing this world. So this little tiny cavern is a little underground place that you never knew existed. Just
chest inside your mind. As you walk further and further and further, you find yourself covered in a mist and fog. It's a sweet mist, a herbal mist, almost so peaceful and calm. You find yourself in a hot spring with tea, cups, mineral crevices. Oh, forming a natural, organic landscape, almost as if they were meant to be there. All steaming and covering your mind in this thick, herbal fog. Of little cream teas, rose, and chamomile. All fogging up your mind and making you so sleepy and calm. This entire room is full to the brim of piping hot liquids, greens, inks. Hues, and you walk further, and you find yourself walking down the path of hot springs. It's not too hot, it's just a nice warm, like a top path. You just walk through the hot springs of tea, letting the vapors just fill you up and make you so drowsy. Really. You're just so sleepy and mindless, passing by all the little curls of tea and smoke. It's almost as if you can't see anything, but that's fine because you know you're going the right direction. Little tiny tea leaves float around you in the smoke. Some bits of spices dance around you as you keep walking. And as you walk, you find yourself just drifting even more. The warmth just filling you up. You feel so warm and relaxed, so calm in this fog. You're so drifty now, so sleepy and empty, you just want to relax. You walk out of the hot springs, all warm and comfy, and you come to completely empty room, except for the vines all growing everywhere. Wonderful little candy vines of licorice, of chocolate, of gumdrops and jelly beans. Little hanging from the ceiling and from the floor. Some stalactites made out of horn candy. Some of gummy candies and gummy bears. All growing around you. You keep going, walking by. And you take a little bite of the gummies. Each bite making your mind melt. Getting stuck to the little pieces of sweet candies. The more you eat. The more you find your thoughts just sticking to it. With each bite, it takes away more parts of your mind until you cannot think. All you can do is just relax and sleep. Be all sleepy. Each gummy taking away more and more, making you so calm and relaxed. You just keep walking and walking and walking. Mind just melting. Feet sluggishly wiggling. Mind becoming so sleepy, so calm and peaceful. You just want to keep going and going, taking in all of the candy, all of the delicious sweetness, the flavors all surrounding you. And as you walk, you find yourself past all the gummies and toys, all moving, vibrating, made completely out of jello. All the different colors bleeding into each other as they slowly shift back and forth. The light sparkling against them, scattering, turning into little rainbows sparkling against you. It's an entire cavern of just soft, comfortable shapes, and you know, you see these shapes, you know what to do. You find a nice little tiny bed of candy and jello. Just lay down, all sleepy and calm, and you sink slowly into it, sinking deeper and deeper and deeper, finding your mind just melting away and drifting as you sink further and further, letting the jello envelop you, letting the mushy squishy squish away your thoughts, making you so sleepy and calm as you sink deeper and deeper and deeper into the jello. Melting away your mind further and further down, all the thoughts just fading away now, deeper and deeper and deeper. And now there is nothing but emptiness, and sleepiness, the wonderful comfort of sleep, and you love to sleep right now. That's all you need to do is be all sleepy in this moment, letting your mind sink and letting your body rest.
cast out of sleep. And this is where you shall have the sleepy trigger. Whenever you hear the word sleepy in this file, or said to yourself, or whenever you want it to take effect, is when it will take effect. And it'll make you feel how you felt in this file. So calm, so peaceful, and of course, completely sleepy and melty, all drifty and filled with a warmth that is trance, that is sleep. Whenever you hear the word sleepy uttered by me within this file, or by yourself if you wanted to, so just relax, take in the word sleepy, and as you send deeper and deeper into this nice warmth, this nice calmness, you feel in your hand another little key, and in your drowsiness you slowly lift up your hand, you see a little key made out of macrame, a little string key, and you wonder what this key will bring you the next time, through the next file of wonderful adventures will be, and now I'll count you back up, and bring you back to the waking world. From 1 to 10, you'll be wide awake, alert and awake and aware. 1, coming back now. 2, becoming a little bit more awake. 3, becoming more aware of yourself. Hey.